On most hydrometers made today, they have three scales for taking measurements. The three scales are the potential alcohol, balling, and specific gravity. Which scale you use depends on how specific you want your reading to be. The balling scale is not usually used in America, but we'll tell you how to use that anyways. Sanitize all equipment that will come in contact with your wine or beer. Take a sample of the liquid before you add the yeast. Place the sample in the hydrometer test jar. If you have a wine thief, you do not need to use this as the wine thief doubles as a test jar. Place the hydrometer in the test jar. Make sure the hydrometer is not hitting the sides of the jar as this will affect your reading. Spin the hydrometer as you would a top to remove any bubbles clinging to it. With the sample at eye level, look to see where the liquid crosses the markings. Write down the reading. For beer, it will usually be around 10, for wine around 22. Take that number and multiply it by 0.55. This will give you the potential for alcohol. So, take 22 times 0 0.55 and that equals 12.1%. The balling scale is a little less accurate version of the brick scale. Typically, the brick scale is used when using a refractometer. The balling scale is a quick way to get a rough idea of how much alcohol will be created. 